the next question is when my pain meds wear off my pain goes up significantly I don't want to needlessly take my meds if I'm not in severe pain should I just take them as prescribed every six hours so I don't start going into withdrawal and if I do that will I have to keep increasing my dosage as my tolerance increases yeah it's a, it's a good question because it uh, refers to the um, one how do you take medications to what kind of medications you take you take rapid release short-acting or long-acting medications it also goes back to what kind of medications is he on is he on just pure opiate medications or is he on uh, non opiate uh, medications um, and and you know in that question none of that's answered and so the answer to that would really be um, you know every, every single patient has to be the proper treatment has to be tailored to that patient but in many situations especially depending on what the situation is, we have to isolate out what is the diagnosis, what is the problem, because each problem has a different pathologic process. There's a certain way that that problem presents itself, and there's a certain way that the pain presents itself. And you have to choose the right medications that combat that particular type of pain. So not all medications help with all different problems, because the mechanism of the medication has to match the mechanism of the pain. So, uh, so I would probably respond by saying a couple things. One, are you on a proper non-narcotic sort of regimen? Are you on a proper nerve pain medications? Are you on proper anti-inflammatories or whatever the case may be? And number two, if you are on opiates and if that is the most appropriate thing for, the, for his care, is he on uh, the proper types of opiates? The release mechanism really can dictate a lot with opiates. Uh, if you have a bad release system, you're going to end up having a huge spike in the beginning and then it's going to drop like a rock and then he's, you're going to get these sort of symptoms. And what happens in that situation is you keep on going up and down, and, uh, and it's like this, this horrible wave. You know, it's like being on a, on, a, on, a, on a boat with a really horrible storm where you have these waves that just keep going up and down and up and down. And really you want to have smooth waters. And that's mm -hmm. kind of one of the uh, – uh, that's really important to have. And, and the proper release mechanism can help, help with uh, smoothing things out. So a lo lot of different possibilities there. I'll definitely have him talk to someone who really has a good understanding of, of multimodal pain management uh, so, they, so he's on the right regimen. Okay. Yeah, he was on morphine and then had something for the breakthrough pain. So, yeah, you, you got that nailed correctly. The next question says, sometimes my pain medicine runs out even when I take it as prescribed before I can get back in to see the doctor. Then I start going into withdrawal. I try to explain to the staff that I need an appointment, and I know I can't get my meds without an office visit. So what do you suggest so I don't run out and I get my appointment? Yeah, so definitely you, you, you definitely want to have an appointment, obviously, and for, for a couple of reasons. Um, uh, obviously, a lot of physicians, and, and probably rightfully so, they want to make sure they see you, make sure you're doing fine, and make sure they can document that, make sure your vitals are okay. Um, so you need to have that appointment. One thing I would suggest is, is make sure, number one, make sure you find out, you know, how many pills are you getting and for how many days. So that way mm -hmm. you know, if you're taking it as prescribed, you know when you're going to run out. Number two, before you leave that office for that particular visit, you set up the visit for your next month. So that mm -hmm. way uh, you, you know when that visit is and it's already scheduled. If you try to call a day or two before, you know, the schedule could be completely full and there's nothing they can do about that. Um, in many situations, uh, it's like the airline industry, in many situations a lot of offices are overbooked already and they can't overbook even more. Um, so, so schedule that appointment for the following month, the minute you leave that month, and make sure that you've counted. And the third thing, and, and this is something a lot of patients don't do um, uh, unless they're told, when you go to the pharmacy, count the pills that you get. I can't mm -hmm. tell you how many times patients have been shorted you know, five pills here, two pills here. One one guy, uh, I remember one patient was shorted uh, 60 pills. And oh, my. Yeah, and obviously he, he had half of what he was supposed to get for that month. But there was no way that we could prove it. There's no way he could prove it. And um, and as a result, you know, he, he basically had to just deal with it for that month. And so count the pills that you're given. Um, don't, you know, the, these are, pills are counted by human beings in a pharmacy. So human beings inherently make mistakes. So count them. And mm -hmm. if you do those things, I don't think you will have many problems with um, with getting, you know, getting the appropriate uh, appointments and, and making sure you don't go into withdrawals. What I found is that there were certain drugs that the pharmacy didn't have the full amount of, mm -hmm. and you either had to accept the amount they had and you couldn't get the rest of them, right. or you had to wait and not have them, 
and go all over town trying to find a pharmacy that did. And it was a wild goose chase. And finally, the person ended up getting, instead of the 60, they got 56. So they ran out, you know, four days before they were supposed to. But the pain management physician, you know, you can't explain that to them. So it, it's just really hard sometimes to keep things level. Well, if, and if that happens, um, uh, they're right. The script then, they would, they would invalidate the script. They would not necessarily always give those extra four pills unless they got a script from the doctor that said four extra pills. And so in that situation, if that patient counted those uh, pills right when they got them or if they knew they only had 56, you call the doctor right then. You say, hey, listen, I had 56 pills. I need to come in a day or two earlier next month. And because you're calling a month in advance, hopefully they'll have an appointment a day or two earlier. Um, and uh, so, so those are some of the things you can do. Or alternatively, let's say you can't change your appointment. There's nothing you can do. The doctor refuses to give you another script. Um, figure out during that month how you're going to extend it, extend everything by a couple of days. So maybe take one less mm -hmm. pill on a certain day or whatever and have it extend out. You know? so, but you've got to make do with that. And then it's all, it, it's all about planning.